welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how I um, draw and color this picture it's a self-portrait of myself and together with my little teddy bear <laughs> over there um, which I had to sleep most of the nights <laughs> so yeah if you like to um, see how I color this and also um, know a little bit more about myself because I've also included um, like a my like a like a short story about myself like tell you about myself so yeah if you'd like to find out more just keep watching and also I've started a patreon page so if you would like to support me and find out more uh, the link is in the description box below as well as my social media network so um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and also check out my online art store for art prints, which I just set up as well. So, thank you guys for stopping by and just keep watching. Thank you. Hi everyone. So in this video, I am going to draw actually myself, <laughs> meant to be myself, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh like who am i and about myself because i don't think i have ever like um like explain or tell any per people or in any of my videos that uh about myself and how i got into art and that kind of thing and this video is also going to be a patreon intro video which uh, I'll be posting, like putting on my intro page on my Patreon um, main main website. <laughs> it's main page profile page. Yes, that's called profile page. And um, yes, I'm starting a Patreon. So <laughs> if you guys are interested to find out more about my rewards, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash um, Artmenda, E R T M A N D A. Yes, so a li little bit about today's video is I uh, drew with like a colored pencil, a Faber Castell color pencil, not the polychromos, it's just the classic pencil, the, the student grade ones, because I have quite a lot of them, and since I am wanting to like start drawing like sketching with uh, colored pencil instead of graphite so I just took them out and yeah initially I was like wanting to buy the Prismacolor Coil Erase but um, I decided against that because since I have all this like student grade pencils and and I'm, I'm not using them for any coloring anymore or any art anymore so I just decided to take them out and use it as a sketch uh, sketching pencil instead sorry for that loud sound <laughs> it's actually like a plane just like it just flew past like uh, above my my <laughs> my apartment yeah anyways um, so I sketched it out with the uh, colored pencil and then uh, I colored it with Copic markers and initially I didn't want to do a background but later on um, I decided to do it because I've, I've like the more I look at it uh, I found it like I feel that it's a little, a little bit too plain yeah so I added a background and I really like the outcome <laughs> so yes so a little bit not a little bit like the, this main topic of this video is actually about myself so so my name you know is Amanda and I live in Singapore I, I was born in Singapore so I'm I'm a pure Singaporean so uh, my age a yeah I was born in the eight, 1980s not 1890s oh my god <laughs> the 1980s so yeah a bit of age already but not too old not too young yeah so and uh when i was born uh nothing actually quite like special happened to me um but when i reached the age of two my 
my grandma actually noticed that my eyes, my eyeballs are not exactly like in the center of the of the eye sockets. <laughs> so yeah, so my parents brought me to the optom ophthalmologist to have a like eye checkup. So and then in the end, I went un I under I, I went for an operation to adjust the eyeball and then uh, it was actually like cross eye but I don't know what is the official name of it so <laughs> yeah just cross eye it's, it's like the eyeball is um, situated in uh, towards the inner corner of the eye so I think that's called cross eye in layman terms um, yeah so <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on from that, the, the operation was half successful because only, I think only my, only my left eye was successfully adjusted. My right eye was still a little bit um, off center uh, at that time. So, yeah, so that's that. And then subsequently, uh... Subsequently, I I started wearing glasses when I was like, like three or four years old. Um, before kindergarten, so I started wearing glasses, and as not nobody like exactly know what's going on. It's just, uh, we, we just thought that uh, I have a very um, high degree, so yeah. So I was wearing glasses and. At that time, I think the technology is not so advanced to notice anything abnormal. <laughs> so, yes, and um, and then um, when I was about four, and when my eldest sis eldest sister was about thirteen, her she she used to wear like thick glasses as well. So, uh, we all thought that we are the we are like um have a high degree and yeah so anyways um when she was 13 and when i was four uh she her eyes actually started deteriorating uh dramatically and rapidly until the stage where she could hardly see anything uh just she could just see light so that was when uh, my parents and my grandma brought her to the ophthalmologist and brought me along as well and that was when uh, we were diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa so it's um, something to do with the retina the cells in the retina uh, not being able to like transmit uh, information or light or like differentiate distance that kind of thing so yeah, so this this is our eye condition. So it's called retinitis pigmentosa, and since then, <laughs> yeah, since then, um, I've been living with it, and I actually went to um a special elementary school. What we call in, what we call here is called primary school, but in the U.S. in Canada, I think it's called like elementary school. Uh, yeah, so I went to a special elementary school where uh, this school is specialized in taking in children with disabilities, um, not just like visual disability, there's like physical hearing and yeah, you, you, you get the idea. So um, in that school, I think it's less than 100 students in total, <laughs> but we... All the students there, uh, we actually uh, went through the normal syllabus for uh, Ministry of Education for elementary school. So yeah, I was there until primary six, which is elementary six. I don't know. I think it's about until 12. Uh, I don't know what is the coin in UNS and Canada, but it's until 12. So yeah, and then... Subsequently, I went to a mainstream, like a normal middle school and what we call it secondary school. So, and then uh, we I, I went through like the normal middle school education as well. So actually nothing special. It's just that during studies, I 
need um, quite a bit of assistance like the bigger prints uh, for the textbooks, for the um, class notes and tutorial notes, that kind of thing. So everything has to be like in bigger print as well as like exam papers with, um, which the school will have to enlarge it for me to like uh, A3 size paper and yeah and then uh, I will request for extra t extra time to do the examination because I really need that because like uh, with with regards to reading speed and writing speed I'm definitely much slower than the other children and other students yeah so I went through this um, all the way to college or university so after middle school I went to a in technical institution and did accounting and then subsequently I went to diploma with a business diploma and then to university uh, major in accounting and finance and I, I really love I mean back then I really love like numbers like accounting uh, accounting uh, bookkeeping finance that kind of thing um, yeah so I went to uh, a distance learning uh, program provided provided by the University of London School of Economics. So yeah, I graduated with a degree in accounting and finance there. And then when I came out to like try to find try to start find a job, I realized that my degree is actually not reusable. I would say it's not exactly usable because. Mm, the jobs I applied uh, is mostly accounting related or finance related so uh, there's a lot of numbers involved and um, most companies that applied to they rejected me although they didn't like um, exactly tell me what was the reason for rejecting but I could I, I could I could like sort of know and understand that um, because accounts and bookkeeping is, is is like a very important part of a company so they want to uh, hire like someone that it, they can who, who they can trust and I guess because of my eye condition they couldn't like really trust me 100% so yeah so i couldn't like really get a job in what i really wanted to do yeah so for a few years i really like few years i have been like constantly applying for jobs and um during that time i did some freelance transcription and then some call center work and yeah basically that's like my education like journey and when uh, when it was 2013 I was fortunate enough to be hired um, by one of, one of the local hospital to be a human resource uh, assistant and although it, it is not like um, accounting related but I mean human resource I, I guess is still quite interesting back then <laughs> when I started joining I mean I learned a lot of new t things like recruiting interviewing um, I mean the correct way to ask questions that kind of thing so I learned a lot and I also met a lot of great people a lot of great colleagues yeah and then I was like I was there for three and a half years and then I <laughs> you guys if you have like watched my vlogs uh, like uh, a few months ago I actually quit this job because there was some restructuring of the company not exactly restructuring but re um, what is that called reorganizing yeah restaffing or reshuffling of the department so um, the new job scope which I was assigned um, requires me to travel between the office and the on-site premises quite a lot so mm, 
Yeah, so I decided to, I mean, I've discussed with them, like, if there's any possibilities of, like, making any changes or adjustments so that I can be more of, like, a desk bound um, job. So, unfortunately, um, due to organizational needs, they were not, like, able to do that. Yeah, so sadly, I left in July 2016 and... Yeah, back then I was already like really into art, so I started re, I started like um re, not starting, I restarting art. I restarted art like a few years back already. So at that time I was like, like thinking, what should I do in, in the future? So I, I took the risk and I started to work towards being a like full-time artist so yeah since august 2016 i'm on my own now <laughs> yeah until now at the time of this video is filmed and posted yeah so i'm still struggling a little bit no income yet but i don't want to give up because like the past few months um i really realized that i i, I want to do something that I like and I enjoy the most which is art so yeah anyways I've like I'm not a newbie into art really uh, like if you want to consider like elementary school middle school that kind of artsy classes uh, hobbies so I'm not exactly new but I really learn a lot of things along the way like the correct technique of using colored pencils and I was introduced to so many new um, art products and art medias um, like watercolors I seriously have never used watercolors in the past before <laughs> until a few months ago um, I, kn I knew of this product I knew of watercolors but I've never thought of trying it before because I grew up with colored pencils and I also was introduced to markers and like Copic markers so <laughs> I spent quite a lot of money on the Copic markers but I really do um, love them so I'm, I have no regrets and yeah there's so many great art medias out, uh, out there so yeah and currently I want to try I want to make myself like learn acrylic paints and I want to do more watercolor works because I feel that I still have a long way to go with regards to art and watercolors and acrylic paints so yeah super long way to go but i'm i'm i'm, I'm happy <laughs> yeah so yeah so that's my journey um since the day i was born uh yeah mm. so if you have like um if you have like watched my art videos especially my traditional art videos you have noticed that i use i i often like hold something in my left hand while i was drawing that is a magnifying glass and i really and i need that for everything like reading looking at the phone surfing the net looking at the computer screen whatsoever uh everything really everything so i need my magnifying glass is basically my my eye my portable eye <laughs> so i bring my fine glass with me all the time yeah so if stumble if you have stumbled upon my videos and you're wondering why am i drawing like this that's the reason and i cannot live without a magnifying glass so yeah it's it's just that you cannot live without your eye so i cannot live without it so <laughs> yeah so that's the end yeah mm. so i hope my story is not too boring i thought i actually thought of like doing a draw my life like a video but i think that would be like too i don't know it's like my life is not exactly that interesting to be like illustrated out <laughs> um so i guess it's it's easier to like draw myself in a portrait and then at the same time tell a little bit story about myself so yeah but i also i want to like take any opportunity to 
uh, thank the people that I've met along the way. Uh, if if you have like been following my vlogs or if you have not, you can check the the link in the description box to my vlog um, playlist and channel. So I've a boy a best friend forever, short form BFF. So I've known her for um like seventeen years, and she has been with me through ups and downs. And I really really I'm very grateful to her, and I I just want to express my gratitude towards her she's very caring very understanding and we can talk anything under the sun <laughs> yeah and of course to my family they are supportive my sister my now my nephew my nieces they are cute they are happy i like i love them a lot oh my god i'm going to cry i'm so sorry um yeah but um this art journey since august has not been easy and it's still quite like a struggle for me at the moment at this moment, I mean, uh, at the moment this video is posted, so I'm still trying my best. Yeah, so I'm sad. Uh, but okay, back to the topic. I'm starting a Patreon page, uh, and the link is in the description as well. So um, if you would like to check it out, please feel free to. And no obligations, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I would be really, really very grateful. Um, you will like give me a lot of encouragement and support me as a full-time artist. I really love art and yeah, just encourage me to keep improving and producing nice works. Um, my goal at the moment is actually to become a children's book illustrator. So if any of you <laughs> uh, want to like illustrate your own children's book, um, and you need an illustrator you can try and yeah i mean you can contact me and we can yeah yeah discuss the business stuff <laughs> yeah so anyways um all my social media links are also below my twitter my instagram and facebook and my website my online store is also listed uh, below is www.artmender.com slash shop i upload prints uh, I mean pictures of my prints that I'm I would be selling so at the moment it's just A4 prints um, but subsequently I might want to get into larger prints as well and yeah so that's about it um, I hope you guys like this video and um, do support me by subscribing and checking out my Patreon and my social media and my website and my shop. <laughs> so many links, I know, but um, it, re it will really help me a lot. So, yeah, I will thank you in advance. Uh, yeah, regardless whether you are supporting me through any form, just by watching this video, I think you are also supporting me in a way. So I'm really, really grateful and very thankful. And so I hope you guys like this picture. Anyway, I'm not selling this picture because it's my portrait. So I'm not selling my, my portrait. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, so I, I'm, I really, I, I mean, I have so much things to say, like my, so much gratitude to express, but I don't know when to, where to start and where, where to stop. So uh, if you're watching this video, I hope you have like felt my, my deep deep deepest gratitude towards you so yeah anyway i hope you like this picture and yeah do remember to check out the links <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next art video do subscribe and keep a look out for next art video so yeah thank you so much and have a nice day bye